All right, so guys, the game just got finished between the Celtics and the 76ers, game one. Now look at the score right here. 101 to 117, Celtics on top, game one. I know they were in Boston TD Garden, but this is unexpected, right? They didn't have Jalen Brown right now. I'm looking at these box scores. Jalen Embiid had a great night, the night you would expect from him. Ben Simmons was there, DJ Redick, Bellinelli, everyone showed up. But the thing is, the Celtics just had more 20-point scorers. Jason Tatum, 28. Terry Rozier, 29. Al Horford, 26. That's ridiculous. That is impossible even. Thinking about, you know, who was missing in game one, Jalen Brown. There are just so many guys stepping up on this team. But I want to really congratulate Brad Stevens. That guy is the coach of the past five years, not just this, this year, but the last year, the year before that, he's the coach of the past five years. He's been better than Mike Budenholzer, Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr. I mean, the, the level of talent he has in his team, he shouldn't be able to do this stuff. I mean, it shouldn't be possible. Sure, the rookies are great, our overs are great and all that, but he, he's taking them to levels they never were supposed to go to. And he is just a phenomenal coach, all right? He might be the coach of all, best co one of the best coaches of all time. I mean, they might not win the title of the season, but, you know, he, he has that formula, man. No Kyrie, no Isaiah Thomas. Look, you know, like, star point guard. No star, star really, like, scorer. Got to play guys playing like scorers. I mean, this team has a whole lot of heart. So I have to pick the Celtics to win this series. I, based off this game, I didn't see the game. But I'm looking at the box score, I'm like, wow. Wow. They, they, they really fought hard. So... I have to say the Celtics win the series in six games, maybe even seven, but they win the series, take on the Cavs in the conference finals.